Hi, I'm Malcolm McDonald, ex number nine for Newcastle United, and you're watching Newcastle Fans TV. Hello everybody, welcome to Newcastle Fans TV. I'm going to be talking a little bit about um, Freddie Shepard because I haven't really had the opportunities to do it since I'm out here in Miami. Uh, there will be an analyst video looking back at the two goals uh, Liverpool match on Sunday. That's delayed, I know. But um, yeah, so I just want to talk about um, my thoughts on Freddie Shepard's uh, how I grew up, uh, knowing what who he was, what he'd done, and so on. Um, just before I quickly do that, have a look at this. So if you want to see more of that, obviously um, with Alligators, and that's on my second channel, Newcastle Fans TV spin-off as well. Um, yeah, so Freddie Shepard. So as I was growing up as a kid, um, I seen Freddie Shepard in the background as the palm tree comes in the way. <laughs> um, so in the background, what I mean by that is when I used to see Sir John Hall doing the press conference and so on, you'd always see Douglas Hall and Freddie Shepard. Now one of my first ever memories of Freddie Shepard was actually slating off the women of Newcastle when he was caught by the news of the world in the hotel room. Uh, slagging off saying that Newcastle women were dogs and also um, that Alan Shearer was was the Mary Poppins of football as well um, so that was my first memory of him I know it's quite funny looking back now but you know you, you did do a lot of good things for Newcastle you tried you really hard to um, help Newcastle as a city build on that as well just a couple of things obviously he was partially not all of it partially because of that magnificent stadium that we've got now at St James's Park without him and his money and other people's money to be fair we wouldn't have this magnificent stadium which now hosts you know you're looking at the rugby league you're looking at sometimes England play when they didn't weren't at Wembley so you've got that and then you've brought the, the likes of Les Ferdinand Faustino Aspria David Ginola you know you've got you brought Alan Shearer home all these players that he was a part of not as I mentioned not fully himself but he was part of that um, you brought Michael Owen home at the time that was a, we were all excited about that I know he went on to have a poor career at Newcastle but at that very time we were all very excited he broke the transfer record for Newcastle he done a lot of things off the pitch as well him and his family um, you know he brought Alan Shearer back home as I mentioned he brought the, the statue outside St James's Park that was his money with his family um, because I think he had amendments to make up of Alan Shearer obviously Alan Shearer gets on with Freddie Shepard really well nowadays as the palm tree blows in the way again um, and obviously because that statue outside the James Park is because of Freddie as well now I want you to your thoughts on Freddie Shepard in the comments uh, down below I'm going to ask you this question because this video is, is, is fairly quick as well you know he's one of us he was a Geordie through and through and he only wanted the best for Newcastle which is the same as me same as you as you're watching the viewer it, it's frustrating that we didn't win anything during his time which we all know but question is would you rather have Freddie Shepard in charge Newcastle in debt trying to compete or would you rather have Newcastle squeaky clean with barely no debt with Mike Ashley in charge mid-table-ish? Let me know what you think on that in the comments down there below. And obviously the next day or two we'll get the analyst video out for you as well. We're looking back at the goals and also uh, on BT Sport too. Cheers. See you later. Bye-bye.